Welcome to this short screencast on how to use iMovie. When you load iMovie, you'll be taken through to a screen similar to this, although you won't actually have any uh, movies there already. To start a new movie, we need to look at the plus symbol in the um, bottom area of the screen here. You'll see that there are a number of um, icons here at the bottom. On the far left, you can see the question mark symbol. Tap that, and that gives you a few pointers. Uh, and I'll leave it there. So if you um, tap the plus symbol, you can start a new one. If you tap the play symbol, um, then you can play that particular movie that you're working on there from this view, uh, full screen from within iMovie. The next icon allows you to share it online or send to iTunes. There's a variety of options there. Or if you tap the um, downward arrow one, you can import a project from another iOS device uh, through iTunes. So if your iPad is plugged into your um, laptop or whatever, uh, and you're using iTunes, you could bring in a project using that icon there. There is some more help option available, and you can see it on the left-hand side, and that's very helpful too. On the far right-hand side, uh, if you tap that uh, sort of bin icon, then that would delete that particular movie from within iMovie. At the top you've got a variety of bits of information there to, about your movie. You've got the name of it and if you want to rename it you just simply tap on the top uh, as it suggests and type in what you want it to be called. Um, and below that you can see what the date was when the movie was created and how long it is. Now, when you do tap the plus symbol, you do get two options. You can do a new project, which will be a pr full proper movie, or you can do a trailer. Trailers are particularly useful if you want to showcase a short uh, sequence of pictures or video, uh, which can be annotated and you can put titles on and what have you. And there's a variety of different templates in there which are really, really good. It's very easy to set up a trailer. Um, if you go into the trailers uh, by choosing one there, you can see across the bottom you get different uh, templates, like I said. And basically, if you tap create in the top right hand corner, what you would do then is once you've got into there, just fill in the different items that you would want. You've got your outline. Uh, which you fill on the left hand side with names of people, people involved, so forth and so on and then go to storyboard and from within here you can then add in the different uh, media that you want. It's very preset so it will only show things for the amount of time that you can see on the screen here, so 3.3 seconds, 1.3 seconds, so forth and so on. But that's how you use trailers. Okay, uh, I'm not going to spend any longer on that but a reminder that if you tap the question mark symbol in here as well too you can see all the various different buttons do within the trailer section going back to our main screen here and I'm not going to create a brand new um, project I'm just going to use this string instruments one here as an example so if you tap onto the uh, main icon there it brings you into your movie to add elements onto your timeline across the bottom you can see where it's sliding left and right, that's your timeline there. If you want to add elements in there, you can add three types of elements. You can add in videos, and you can see on the top left there are some videos there. Um, and to drop them in, you just tap on the item once, and then tap on the blue arrow, and that will drop that straight down into your timeline, like so. If you want to remove something, if you just select, and then select again by double tapping, you'll then get options related to that item on your timeline. You can delete the clip straight away, you can change the volume of it working up. You can add, if you want to, a location um, piece of information onto the screen. Or you can add a title style. And there are three title styles you can choose from to annotate a particular clip. So um, if you tap on there you have the opening, the middle or an end. Now iMovie draws the um, formatting of your annotation from the style or theme you choose from your settings icon. So if you go to settings in the top right hand corner, when you go into there you'll see there are different templates that you can use. So if I was to choose the template news, like so, and then go back to my clip, 
by double tap on it and go to title style and choose opening you'll now see that it's applied that particular style to it so I'll give it a title let's say string instruments and that now appears across the whole of my movie so if I press play we'll see this that is a short explain everything video to... comes in like so now when you apply these different themes or annotations on top of uh, something on your timeline it will stay there for the duration of the actual clip now that movie I've dropped in there is 3 minutes 12 seconds I don't really want it saying string instruments for 3 minutes 12 seconds on top of that clip so what I want to do is I want to split that clip up a little bit so what I can do is move the item along the timeline to where I want to actually split it and stop it happening so I want it to be quite quick now remember this is a 3 minute 12 second clip to make things a bit more fine what I can do is I can sort of pinch out and I can actually stretch then how fine the timeline is that's far finer now see I, I can it takes me a much longer to scroll along my clip now and that's because I'm zoomed in as it were on it and I can see things more by second than uh, I could previously so I move my clip along that timeline uh, along the red point there and if I just tap onto the video on my timeline what I'm going to do now I'm going to swipe my finger from top to bottom along that marker that's colored in pink and what that will do if I go from the top yellow line to the bottom yellow line in, in a single fluid motion going downwards from top to bottom what it will do is it will cut that clip and now the beginning part will have that application of the style but at the, the join there it will then disappear now just because there's a gap there there's no gap in the fluidity of the actual video watch this the first thing we can see is that I have brought in so it goes straight from the one into the other now what we can do if we've got various points during the movie that we want to annotate all we then need to do is just keep on splitting it like so and then adding in whatever title style we want on top of that video so that's how you work with video in there you cannot do the same thing with pictures so if I come out for a second and just load up a different iMovie project uh, one here and these are three photos I've put next to each other. Now I can annotate these like I did the others. And you can see there's a little annotation there on top of this image here. And I, again, I can zoom in the timeline and what have you. But if I select the picture, I can't actually get it to sit on the actual picture. So I can split it up. I could duplicate it and have more than one if I wanted to. Okay, uh, But I can't actually split it. Whilst we're looking in this view as well, we can see that we've got some extra icons on the screen right now where our actual picture is being shown. Start, four seconds, done. I can change the length of how long the picture stays on the screen for by tapping on one of the two yellow markers on the actual image and dragging them outwards or inwards. So I can make this clip a bit shorter if I want to by doing this. I'm just clicking or tapping even on the top left trim option there or I can make it longer and as I'm moving it you can see on the main picture the number of seconds there is, is showing so showing you how long that will then stay on screen for and what that start and end and done button do basically uh, on the start bit okay that's where the image will start okay and then if we go to end that's where we want the actual image to be at the end of that time zone so basically we're going to move from being there to there so whilst it's just a static image it gives the illusion of it actually being an active image because it is actually moving albeit just from one place to another across the screen it gives that illusion of it moving around and brings the picture to life just a little bit more so we've seen we can drop in video from the video icon that's highlighted in blue in the left hand side 
because the next section we can get some images from our camera roll and what have you and then we have music now it will pull music from your iTunes account so you could drop a tune into the background that you've got in your iTunes accounts uh, from your music library but it also comes with a variety of sound effects and theme music that you can drop straight in that come in as standard within the app and you just select the item to listen to it so let's go to theme music and then if you tap on the little play arrow on the right hand side there it will then give you a little preview of what that music sounds like if you want to drop it in you would just simply tap on it and it will drop then onto your timeline like so and that music would then play so if you want to just make sure that you want that's the piece of music you want say so preview it by tapping on the arrow first and tapping on the square tapping on the square to stop it so that's pretty much it you can record a narrative over the top if you want to so if you look at the middle bar there you've got um, the three icons we just discussed the dropping in video and pictures and sound and what have you you've got the uh, sort of wave symbol highlighted in blue that simply shows or hides the audio there the play button to the right of that will play your movie uh, in a preview the one on the far right hand side that looks like a microphone tap that and you're able to then record a narrative over the top so if you've got some photos and want to um, actually rather than just annotating or you could just talk over the top of it like, like I'm doing right now um, tap record for that to happen um, alternatively uh, you can tap onto the camera and that will open up your camera to record straight in to iMovie if you want to do that last few bits there is a settings icon here which we saw before you can choose to have theme music on or off uh, you can get the background music to loop if you want to if you know your video is going to be a bit longer and you can get various things that you drop in your pictures your videos what have you to fade in from black or to fade out to black to give it a, a, a sort of cleaner uh, effect so that's pretty much it for within iMovie there are some more extended features but that's not really uh, within the scope of this presentation uh, but to get your movie off at the end remember we need to render it out so go back and from within here we saw before from here we can share online so if we tap the share icon there and there's a variety of share options there if you want to just wrap it straight onto your camera roll um, then let's do that for example tap the camera roll, camera roll and you then get some options about the quality bear in mind the higher the quality the HD uh, option for example uh, then obviously the longer it will take the process and the more space it will take up on your iPad so that's iMovie if there's something you can't do but think you should be able to do and can't work out how to do it then please get in touch and I'll see what I can do to help but in the meantime that's iMovie have some fun mm -hmm. thank you